Hello everybody, and welcome to my next Let's Play. What are you Let's Playing? Other than a Game Boy Advance game that has a warning of for a... Uh, read the handbook? Um, let me show you what I'm going to play. Published by Nintendo and Square Enix, so you that's narrowed it down to three games. Final Fantasy V, because fuck playing Final Fantasies 1, or 2, 4, and yeah, before this one. Because uh, 2 has so much grind, it's going to be hard for me to record. I'm actually going to work on 2 while working on this one, because 2 has a lot of grinding. And my Adobe Updater apparently has more updates for me. So I've actually already done a little bit of a run through here. Hold on a sec. I've actually done a little bit of a run through here before, before this, uh, but I'm gonna start over because I messed up the mic volume and you can't really hear me moving the mic in front of my face a little more. Anyway, Final Fantasy V was never released in the U.S. before they started redoing like all the Final Fantasies, like in uh, the for the PS1, Final Fantasy Origins and such. It was one of the first uh, fan-translated games that was out there, really, uh, just because of an outcry of how... Because it is a good game, and it just never got released. Uh, although I'm not complaining with what we did get, uh, Final Fantasy VI was an amazing game, and probably one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Yeah, probably one of my final fa favorite Final Fantasies, but this one's close up too. Uh, just because I love this job system that they use. I love it a lot. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's it's just amazingly awesome. I don't think I'm actually forwarding this dialogue. Yep, I'm not. Can I make it go faster? Other than speed states? Nope. Okay, no mind then. Uh, but... This is one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Um, I don't really have a list, per se, but uh, it's been a while since I played 9, but I do remember liking that one a lot, too, so... Um, I, I couldn't list them off the top of my head. Uh, 7's up there, 9's up there, 6 is up there. Probably those are sort of my top 3. Uh, then 5 and 1 and... Four and etc. Those are probably th these aren't in order. Just like my top three, my next three, my last three, etc. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm not one of those console fanboys that are, that are like, oh, they stopped making good Final Fantasies at at a six, or that was my last favorite. They started getting, you know, I. Um, I played through 10. Although looking back, the story was awful, and I played through 12. Uh, even though I hated the main character, Vaughn. Uh, I haven't finished playing through 13 yet, uh, for no reason other than sheer laziness. But, um, yeah, I, I don't mind the newer Final Fantasies. I think they're okay. But anyway, this is just uh, introducing all of our main characters real quick. I'll stop messing with that little piece of plastic. Uh, well, most of the main characters. Uh... All of them but one are named, and as you can see, the winds have stopped. Or I don't know if you can see that. It's told to us. But uh, basically, in this story, uh, you'll see, actually, uh, compared to the last Final Fantasy I played with no story at all, uh, this one's story is quite a lot more developed, and the um, Super Nintendo is really put to good a really nice quality here. Um, six is arguably better, and six is probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time, uh, next to Chrono Trigger and Earthbound, etc. Uh, I don't know why all my favorite RPGs of all time are SNES games, but eh, they were that was my childhood, and there were a lot of good games on the SNES. Uh, but here's our main character, I guess. Am I? In control? No. Just standing there warming up to a fire. And the music cuts out. Woo! Um, I'm going to test and see. Um, it was quite quiet. Or it was a little loud. It was almost drowning out my voice. Uh, at the last volume I tried it at. But 
this might be a tad quiet, so we'll see. I'm trying to find a happy medium with my new headphones and the volume. It worked pretty well in the Riviera, because, I mean, there wasn't uh, the sound of battle every five seconds, but... Oh, well. I like that he put the fire out. That's really thinking about, like, you know, forest. Oh, I'm in control now. Uh, chocobos have been uh, in the games for a while, but this is the first Final Fantasy I played, or uh, Let's Play. Not the first Final Fantasy I played. The first Final Fantasy I've Let's Played with chocobos in it. Uh, and he's named, and he's a character. I think they have a few more, and I'm in control, aren't I? Uh, as you can see, we run pretty damn fast, and we can run faster, and I don't like running much faster than this, but whatever. Uh-oh! It's that pink-haired girl we saw earlier. What's her face? And they have names that are given, except this guy. Uh, you can't really change the names. Uh, this is the second game with the ATB, or Active Time Battle System in it. Uh, Final Fantasy IV beat it to the punch, and still pretty decent. I mean, I don't mind it. It makes uh, speed stating through battles kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, yes, she is alright, I guess. Um, and, like I said, you can name this guy. His default name is Bartz. Uh, Bartz is kind of a dumb name. The air conditioner agrees, so I'm gonna change it to Nile, as is my want in life. Uh... There we go. I like Nile. It's really easy to enter in. I am done, yes. Anyway. Uh... Yes, my name is Nile. Too bad I can't name any of you people. Not that I'd learn them from past experience, but hey, I can actually get a kit attached to these characters. They have story. Rock suddenly fell from the sky. It's a meteorite. Why in the hell didn't that cause much more destruction? A meteorite that size would probably leave a giant crater and be vaporized. Oh, well, magic, I guess. Oh, hey, hold up. No. Did you hear something? What? Oh, no, I didn't. I was saying something. And hoping... They really get expressive with these tiny little sprites. Uh, they have the little pop-up things to tell you, or to help you out, but they, this is where they really start getting expressive. Uh, Final Fantasy VI ups the ante by quite a bit, but this is still quite a bit more expressive than IV. Uh, and this is the old man. He's awesome. I love him. Love him. Anyway, his name's Gaul. I don't know why I was hiding his name. The name. I played through, like I said, I played through mm, every Final Fantasy except, you know, 11. You can't play through. I've never played it because, I mean, wow. Um, I played through all of them except that one and 13 all the way through. But, um, so spoilers. I'm going to hide spoilers like I did last time with Riviera. And I'm going to try and be fairly informal. Or I'm going to try and be fairly formal with the guide because I actually own, from when it was released on the Game Boy Advance, the strategy guide. So I won't even need to use my phone, but it'll actually take quite a bit more for me to figure out the maps. <laughs> I have to pause for a while and, like, chart out my path and then go through there instead of just bumbling through everything. Uh, like I did in Final Fantasy 1, but anyway. Uh, as we can see, the adventure's over. We decided not to go. The end. Game over. I win. How are you attached to this person? Oh. I guess I did save her life, so... Love interest, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'll check on the rest of our party and see. Does that section of meteorite look off? Huh. Oh well. Probably nothing. Let's go. Let's talk to the... How did they get past the chocobo? I guess he moved. Such a polite bird. Anyway, let's move on. Uh... To where? I guess back to the forest, maybe? I don't know. Or up here, I guess? Yeah, I guess. What? What did you do that for, bird of doom? Why did you do that, huh? That hurt my head. Don't give me that look. Oh, that's so adorable. Save them, I guess. Excuse me. Ugh, just eight, sorry. 
<clears throat> Considering turning that thing off after this cutscene, anyway. I don't know, I'll see how loud it is on recording, but it's certainly going off very often. Uh, I guess I'll cut these battles, I don't know. Am I controlling this? Yeah, I am. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Wow, that chocobo can sure lift people. Damn. Strong bird. Uh, anyway, this first part's mostly gonna be story, story, and more story. Instead of Final Fantasy 1, where there was a uh, optional story and just kill everything. There's a lot of dialogue and there are a lot of cutscenes in this one. Uh, compared to Final Fantasy. But, uh, not compared to Riviera, because there were a billion more cutscenes in Riviera than this game. Let's see. Aww. She owes us her life twice. So adorable. Yeah. Yet the shockwave didn't, like, vaporize the meteor or whatever. Ugh. Can't get to the wind shrine. Oh god, you're still alive. He is pretty damn awesome, though. As you can see, real quick. Alright, I'll go over and see that you're personally safe. Yeah, it's my dad's dying wish that I go out and travel the world. Plus, this time it feels like the wind's calling me. Oh, the wind! Oh. Thanks, Golf, for pointing me out, or pointing that out for me. <laughs> See why I love Golf. He's awesome. Wish I could have played him in Dissidia. Oh well, I guess main characters only. They finally got the right main character for Final Fantasy X. I'll give you that. Let's see. Um. Yeah, sure. We'll reach the Wind Shrine. Why not? We can make it. Inspirational music. By the way, there was a, an OVA af set after Final Fantasy V called, uh, let's see, Final Fantasy Legend of the Crystals, I think? Um, it's quite old. You can only find it on VHS, I think, or online if you so want. But, um, yeah, that's my other file. I'm going to not save on it because I actually kind of like it. But, um, Anyway, let's see. It's, yeah, it's the only Final Fantasy anime, or it was the, one of the first ones. I know that Advent Children, I guess, is a movie, and then they made that Last Order thing. Anyway, let's go in here and investigate things. Uh, unfortunately, the Chocobo cannot follow us for some retarded reason into the cave. Um, whatever. Fine, be that way. Let's see, we dumped the chocobo off, and let's see if I remember right, that pond over there. Let's see, oh, sorry. Ooh, spring. I don't know what it is. Alright, let in golf level up. Right, this is a recovery spring, and so if you want, you can grind for a while. I'd maybe grind up an extra... An extra level or two. Um, let me go over equipment and stuff before I sh I cut for grinding and then move on. But um, as you can see, we're all freelancers, and Len has got a knife and Golf is unarmed. That means he attacks twice with just his fists. Um, right now, that's not the greatest. Uh, we'll want broadswords for everybody, uh, since freelancers can equip anything. So, we want broadswords for everybody, and uh, all the heaviest armor. I'm going to have to get used to cutting for battles. Um, you want all the heaviest armor for right now. The first boss isn't that challenging, but I mean, you want to be about level maybe 10 for it? I don't know. 9, 10-ish? 8-ish, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how what level I am. I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, I'm going to cut this part, and I will see you guys later.